Hello, welcome to Fun and Riker. My name is Harry. I've been riding a motorcycle for 20 years. I know it's not that long of a time, but in 20 years, I want to tell you about target fixation. I've crashed, and I'll tell you all the details at the end of the video why I crashed. And talking today about target fixation. It's one of those things in 20 years of riding that I've learned that's very important. And target fixation is basically you're staring at an object. If you stare at an object, you'll go there. That's all there's to it. So it's like if you're looking at a stop sign, you're probably gonna go meander to that stop sign, whatever the case might be. And most of the crashes happen when you're target fixated or you're hypnotized as some people call it. So you could be like going around a corner and you're looking at a corner and you just keep staring and you're gonna hit something or you're gonna go off the road, you're gonna go in the ditch, whatever it might be. Another thing that could happen at target fixation is a car is, you're following a car and the car is making a left-hand turn and you might be following it a little too closely and you're trying to get around it. You're staring at the car, you're staring at the car to the left, you're trying to get around right. You might tag it with the front tire because you're fixated on the car and you're not looking away. So today I'm talking about the top four reasons how to avoid target fixation. And it is very serious for me what I say, and I'm hoping I can keep you guys safe. Learn from my experience. Number one thing is turn your head, not your eyes. So it's, and I have a CDL license, and when I was going through training, they always emphasize so importantly, if you don't turn your head, you are going to be flunked immediately. And it's the way in motorcycles too. If your head goes, your motorcycle will follow. So you always turn your head, not your eyes. Number two is scan the area. Don't get focused on an object more than a second or two. So always continually scan because <laughs> once you start focusing on an object, like I said, here's, there's a truck that went by. I'm gonna look, I'm gonna go towards the truck and that's what will happen. So it's like you're going around a corner and you stare at an object, you are in trouble. Okay, number three is look through the corners. Always, instead of having a, like a closer view, look up more, scan ahead, look through the corners, because this is, now this is what happened to me. I was going on a Sunday morning ride with a new group of riders and the wind was blowing 25 to 30 miles an hour. I didn't really want to be out there. And as towards the end of the ride, I was maybe in back more. And all of a sudden, <laughs> I went into the ditch. I didn't look through the corner. I was fixated on the first part of the corner. I didn't look through the whole corner. I think I was staring at maybe at a stop sign. I blamed it on the rocks. It wasn't the rocks. I was target fixated. I was a newbie out there. And, you know, it happens. I went into the ditch. I rolled the bike. I was trying, I hit the brake. I was sliding. I went into the ditch and I fell and I bike went one way. I went the other way. And luckily I only had bruises and bumps and that was it but I had my helmet on I had my gloves on I had my chaps on I had my boots like I said I had all the safety equipment I threw away my helmet after the crash and you know everything was my boots were scuffed up my chaps were kind of busted a couple buttons on it they were scuffed up my jacket was scuffed up everything was scuffed up and thankfully to my safety equipment <clears throat> that I had on saved my butt that day. And the number four reason, number four thing to do is to look to, if you get into a jam, say to yourself, say out loud, be relax, focus, 
uh, what's another word? Look. And a lot of times I'll just say relax because even this summer I was, you know, I'm Joe Cool going through a corner. I was going too hot and I let up and I was going too hot on it. And I was probably doing 55 and a 25 maybe. And the bike was way too hot and I was not looking through the corner. I was not scanning. I did all the wrong things. Hey, if you guys want a video about turns and corners and how to do them properly, let me know. Bloop it down in the comments if you want to hear about safety, about all about corners. But target fixation is a big thing. So number one is turn your head, not your eyes. Number two, don't look at things more than a second, scan. Number three, look through the corners, just don't look ahead. Number four, if you're getting a jam, say is relax, get yourself out of that jam, slow in, out with a grin, that is it. Hopefully, uh, you know, a few things to learn from my experience, keep you safe that's what I, please learn from my experience i've crashed twice already the kicker was with that one we went out to lunch people helped me with my bike um after that i rode home with my broken bike and it rained on me the whole time with a broken windshield broken bike with my old 1200 gold wing so anyway that's my story target fixation it's very real Till next time, keep it right and tight. Be nice to each other. Thanks for hanging out with me. Bye.